love and limerence are not the same thing. And people get love confused with attachment and limerence on a regular basis. I see it in my profession all the time. But I like that person. Okay, well, that person does not like you that way back. Yeah, but I want them to because I like them. That's not love. A, that could be attachment. It's definitely limerence. Because limerence is I'm going to change myself to fit your narrative right? You like somebody and suddenly they make a comment about, oh, I like somebody with blonde hair. Next thing you know, you're dyeing your hair blonde. You're changing your profession. You're changing the music that you like. You're changing yourself to fit into a narrative for them to like you and love you. Limerence. Love is not that way. Love is autonomous. Love is peaceful. Love is subtle. Love is calm. Love is wanting someone to succeed with or without you in their, in their lives. Love is... I love this, man. I hope that this goes for a long time, but if it doesn't, I can't control it. Limerence and control and um, even attachment is, oh my God, I can't live without you. That's not love. Love is not, I can't live without you. So when you're thinking that you're in love, sometimes you're in attachment. Sometimes you're in limerence. If you feel the need to change who you are, change what you're wearing, change who you're hanging out with, you're not in love. And it displays a wound for you to heal. So utilize that for yourself. If you need to get the book, get the book. But love, limerence, and attachment are not the same.